Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. We are from Group A One to present about our group assignment. Okay, uh, our group member uh, for the first is uh, Hasanal bin Hasan, uh, Khairani Zakwan bin Kamis, Muhammad Ikhwan Arif bin Zamri, and me Muhammad Azri bin Abdul Jabbar. I want to present about the introduction. OSH uh, mean Occupational Safety and Health is defined as cross-disciplinary area concern on protecting safety health and welfare related to work. Hazards are everywhere and the uh, risks also varying in, in accident. For the group assignment project, uh, we have chosen a clinic in Kelantan that is Clinic Kesihatan Wakaf CIA as a place for us to analyze the hazard uh, in the clinic. Clinic is a place for patients to seek treatment. Uh, the clinical process begins with uh, admission, operation of the emergency room, transfer to another ho hospital, drug processing, medical documentation, drug supply and ends with the patient flow. The working environment varies depending on the department. Is in a stressful emergency situation, for example, the clinical staff uh, meets uh, with patients in all situations, uh, especially in critical situations. Other, other hazards uh, in clinic include patient lifting, transportation, equipment, equipment placement, and wiring. The most happen during the coronavirus transmission season uh, as, they so, as they are so busy, they ignore this problem. Apart from that, uh, there is some step on how to do the inspection as well uh, we provide in the high rate hazard identification, risk assessment, and risk control. This high rate is our countermeasure in identifying the hazard and analyze them. The result and finding then we discuss and recorded in this report. Okay, next I want to present about our objective for this project. Uh, for the first objective is to uh, to identify the safety and health hazard around clinic kesihatan wakaf CIA. Uh, for the second is to classify according to the level of safety and health hazard uh, risk uh, around clinic. Uh, and for the last is to eliminate the risk of safety and health hazard around clinic kesihatan wakaf CIA. Okay, that's all from me. I will give to Hassan Al bin Hassan. Hello, Assalamualaikum and hi. My name is Hassan Al bin Hassan. Member chip number AA191493. I am from group 8. So, today I am going to present about the method to identify safety and health hazard at health clinic. Okay, first, conduct periodic inspection of the health clinic. Due to the pandemic of COVID 19 situation, we have to limit for the movement outside from home. We have decided to choose one person of our group members to observe the condition and situation at the health clinic. He will walking around at outdoor and indoor the clinic compound for the visually checking the type of facilities, job procedures and any possible risk that could be hazardous to employee or citizen. Okay, next, uh, jobs and supervisors interview the people and workers. We will interview the people who come to the clinic to get some information or opinion from them. This encourages workers to express concerns that might not be as apparent when carrying out job site inspection on their own. The presence of workers in the trade identification process also increase the productivity of employees and increases compliance with safety requirements. 
for the last uh, conducting pre-start discussion why work to be carried out briefly on the yearly and final construction process and the need to complete the day-to-day -day work and follow the safety and health guidelines okay that's all from me stay at home stay safe thank you Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Mama Ikhwan Arif bin Zamri from Group A and I will present about the result and discussion for this study First thing first, we choose the location at Klinik Kesihatan Wakaf Cik Yeh to do risk assessment and divide it into two hazard which is safety and health hazard For the safety hazard, we detect the roof lamp metal railing falling apart Second, a broken piece of floor tile Third, Ceiling leaks near a lamp. Four, burn wall plugs. And for the health hazard, we look the medical waste improperly stored and exposed to surrounding. Second, chemical waste are not removed properly. For the roof lamp metal railing falling apart, the supporting screws is holding the railing may fail, fail that can dropping the piece of metal. The metal piece could fall on the any person and cause injury to their head. A broken piece of floor tile caused serious falling injury and caused bad injury at some of its sharp sharp piece of tile can cause bad injury at someone's feet. A person might unnoticeable and suddenly they will trip and fall from it. For the ceiling leaks near a lamp, water leak near electric Electricity source may create shortage and voltage surge. Floor under the area is wet and can cause fall injury. Electric shortage probably cause the lamp tube to break, spilling sharp glass everywhere. Wet floor can cause slippery condition where it can make someone fall. Burn wall plugs cause electric shock if the plug is not properly ground. The fuse that already been tripped can no longer protect the plug that may cause harmful electric shock to person over the place. Medical waste improperly stored and exposed to surrounding causing sickness and dangerous disease. Human's body fluid may contain pathogen or virus that can affect to another person and will be the perfect place to bacteria to grow and mutate. Chemical waste are not removed properly. Water reservoir may be breeding place for mosquitoes. High chance for mosquitoes such as dengue that will give infection to someone and cause death. The equation to evaluate the risk level by using formula risk equal to likelihood times severity. So we use this table to carry out the result we obtain from our investigation. And this risk matrix table is to show the result by multiple the likelihood and severity. This range table is to determine the level of risk based on risk matrix table, which vary high when the risk is 15 to 25, high when 8 to 14, moderate when 4 until 7, and low when risk is 1 until 3. Lastly, the risk control measure. So for the roof lamp metal railing falling apart, the control measure is put caution sign and call technician. For a broken piece of floor tile, we wear the, wear the shoes that can protect feet and call maintenance and also put warning sign. For the ceiling leaks near a lamp, put warning cone or caution and call technician for the burn wall plugs uh, put caution sign and call technician so for the health hazard the medical waste improperly stored and exposed to surrounding we we must keep it in medically isolate zone and regular cleanup at the medical waste location so the chemical waste are not removed properly is we remove the waste properly and do regular checkup that's all for me thank you assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh uh, my name is kairan zakwa bin kamis 
I will present about uh, impact of most critical safety and health hazard. As everyone know, clinic is a small public health facility established to provide outpatient treatment. Better to hospitals, pharmacy. Clinics are also very important because it can reduce the number of patients in the hospitals. Therefore, safety and health hazard in the clinic should be emphasized so as not to invite any injuries or accident that occur to everyone. The most critical safety hazard is ceiling leaks near a lamp. This is because ceiling leaks near a lamp will cause electric shock and cause wet floor that can endanger the safety of the public. When this happens, it is likely to cause the person to die as a result of the electric shock and the person will also fall due to the wet floor surface. The most critical health hazard is medical waste improperly stored and exposed to surroundings. This is because medical waste improperly stored and exposed to surroundings will cause everyone who approaches or manage this medical waste will be affected by any dangerous disease, whether chronic or infectious disease. Example of chronic disease uh, cancer, brain cancer, and so on, while an example of infection disease, uh, a COVID-19 virus, influenza, and so on. Assalamualaikum. I will present about a uh, recommendation and conclusion. Safety hazard and health hazard in the clinic are one of the cause that can cause any accidents to occur and can cause various type of disease, whether chronic or infectious disease. To address this problem, there are several steps can be taken to overcome this problem. First, make a contract with the contractor or construction department to inspect and repair any damage that occurs in the clinics. This can further reduce the likelihood of any accident occurring. Next, schedule a sanitation process around the clinic and ensure medical waste disposed of in the proper place. This is because it can prevent everyone from getting any disease and clinical condition in a clean and orderly condition. For our conclusion, the safety and health asset in a workplace need to be taken into account and addressed so that it will not affect any serious problem in the future. Honestly, this kind of danger we cannot eliminate but we can reduce it by identifying identifying the problem and solving it. For us to solve this problem as well, we need to get a referral from an expert or safety and health law so that we can deal with this problem well. That's all from me. Thank you. So today uh, I will continue my presentation uh, about the poster of our groups okay first uh, safety first safe life first uh, I will explain about the health hazard in health clinic medical waste improperly stored and exposed to surroundings chemical are not removed properly okay next uh, for the safety hazard in health clinic roof lamp matter railing falling apart a broken piece of floor tile Shilling leads near a lamp. Burn wall plug. Okay, this uh the step uh we must be careful at the cleaning area. Always been on the alert. 
always observe the surrounding area. Okay, that's all from me. Thank you.